Hey, are you looking for a knee brace and you're just not sure which one to get? You've looked online or maybe you've looked at the store and the choices are just overwhelming. There's so many options with brackets, without brackets, with straps, without straps, copper or not. There's, there's just so many different options out there. I'm going to make it really simple for you. We're going to go on a field trip today. I'm going to take you over to the sporting goods store in my neighborhood here. And we're going to look at the knee brace section and I'm going to walk you through the different types of knee braces, the different reasons why you need a knee brace and all the different little variables when knee brace shopping so that you can make the best decision about getting a knee brace for your knee problem today. Come on, let's go. Hey, we're here at the store here and uh, we're in the knee brace section. And as you can see, there is an overwhelming amount of knee braces. There are so many. I mean, this from right here, these are pads, but that's a brace right there. All the way, it's about right here. You got knee braces and there's so many different options. There's so many different styles, types, and I'm gonna walk you through it, through it here. So there's generally three types of knee braces that you would need. Uh, the first is a knee brace that's just for arthritis, um, for swelling, and for just general pain. It might be high pain, it might be low pain, but what is consistent with this one is that, with this type of knee brace is that you know that you don't have any sort of tear. Because the second type is for a meniscus tear or an ACL or other ligament tear, MCL, LCL, PCL tear. Um, if you've got a tear, if you know that you've got damaged cartilage, and I'm not talking about arthritis, I mean like you've got torn cartilage. Um, uh, if you've got an MCL or a ligament problem, then you're going to want a different type of brace. And the third type of brace is a brace that is for after you've had a knee surgery of some sort, like a knee replacement or a meniscectomy, some sort of knee surgery. The third type that I, that I mentioned just now, you're not going to worry about. I'm not going to talk much more in this video. The only, the only thing I'll say in it is that if you have had a surgery, you're going to have that prescribed to you by your doctor and um, you, won't have, you won't find it in a store like this. You're going to have to look um, at a medical supply store or they'll, they'll just have it ready for you at the doctor's office if you've had a surgery. So if we're going back to the first two types, then here's what I want you to worry about. If you know that you don't have any sort of tear, then what you're going to look for in a brace is something that is simple like this one, just a compressive knee brace that doesn't have any sort of uh, struts or brackets or hinges on the side, something just compressive. Now you want it to be pretty compressive. You want it to be very um, tight on you. And this one's cool because this one's got some little gel thing that grabs your skin so it doesn't slide down so much because that's one of the problems with knee braces. They, they are always gonna slide down on you. Um, there's no such thing as a comfortable knee brace. You, if you're gonna wear a knee brace, just accept that it's gonna slide down. You're gonna have to deal with having to readjust it all the time. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable. Hopefully you live in a cooler climate where you don't have to deal with it or it's a cooler part of the year where you don't have to deal with sweatiness. You're gonna have to be washing that knee brace all the time. So think about the durability of the knee brace. And uh, just another side tangent, as far as cost goes, the more you spend on a knee brace, the better the materials. Also the bigger the knee brace, because you're paying for more material and you're paying for better quality material. So generally smaller knee braces cost less, bigger knee braces cost more, and better quality um, uh, knee braces will also cost more as well than lower quality knee braces. And I'm talking about the materials. So um, the better the materials, they'll last longer, they'll survive more washes, um, they'll sur survive more wear and tear, like you're using them to do stuff around the house, or if you're gonna be active in them, um, then they'll last longer throughout that. So going back to that first type of knee brace, if you've got just pain um, or arthritis, this type of sleeve will do just fine. And some of these knee braces come with a, let me find one here, a, a strut or a butress. I'll just show you on a box. Um, here's one right here. So this one right here has a little metal or I'm not sure the material, but it's got something hard that runs along the side of the knee braces the side of the knee brace on either side of the knee brace. And um, it's not a hinge, but you can see a little picture right there in black and white. It says uh, internal flexible stabilizers. And it's not a hinge, it's a, um, a stabilizer, just like it says. And it's not gonna do a whole lot. I mean, it's a, it's a comfort thing more than anything else than, it, than actually giving you support. The thing is, if you know, if you know that you don't have a uh, tear of some sort. You don't need the brackets or the, the struts or the butress or the supports. 
you just need compression. So you need the brace to be kind of tight and form fitting um, so that you can be active in it so that you can go use your leg and control any swelling that comes on and have some comfort. It does give you pain control as well, giving you that, that compression. Uh, but the fact of the matter is if you've got, if you're on it more, you're probably gonna irritate it more. So this is just to kind of hold you over to get through activity that you need to get through, like taking care of your house um, or taking care of family or other people around you, going to work, that kind of thing. Um, without having to rely on pain medications or going to the doctor for injections all the time. And hopefully putting off the surgery completely if you can solve the problem. Now, let's go to the second type of knee brace. If you've got a known meniscus tear or a ligament tear of some sort, then you're gonna want to get a knee brace that there aren't any hanging out. But something that's more like this, it's got some supports on the sides like that and hinges. The hinges are a big deal because they give you stability. They compensate for the lack of stability because you tore something. If you tore your ACL or your meniscus, then you need some external stability and that's what these braces can provide. As you can see, the price is a bit more. That one's $100. Then one like this, it doesn't have any sort of uh, bracket. That one's $20. And um, but, but that's what you gotta pay for. That is a definite, cheaper investment than having a surgery to repair your meniscus or your ACL or other ligament. Um, so if you know that you have an ACL, LCL, any sort of ligament tear in your knee, uh, meniscal, meniscal tear or cartilage tear, then you need to get a brace that has some hinges on the sides. Some side notes about the braces with hinges. Um, you want to look for a brace where you can slide the hinges out whenever you wash it because you don't want to have to wet the hinges. They, they could, they, they, they can get stiffer. They may not move as well, um, but you're going to have to wash your brace. You just have to do it probably daily, if not at least every other day or so, um, depending on your use of it. Now, let me answer three common questions that come out of knee braces. So the first question that we get all the time is, do I need that hole for my kneecap? It's optional. I haven't seen anybody that raves about the hole. Um, there's braces that don't have the hole, like, this one right here and the the whole idea the mechanical idea with it is that if you've got a hole for your kneecap if you've got cartilage damage behind your kneecap then that alleviates the pressure from the knee brace against your your kneecap so that it's not further compressing the cartilage but i've had people wear the braces without the the knee hole and it's just fine i haven't seen any solid research on it either um, i think it's really up to your comfort level the second question that we always get is, do I need straps? As you can see, this one doesn't have any straps, it's just a sleeve, but there's some knee braces like this one right here. You can see the picture there, it's got these straps that hang over. And the answer to that is, it depends on your leg shape. If your leg is more tapered where it's wider in your thigh, and then it gets skinnier as you go down, then that brace is probably gonna slide down if it doesn't have any straps if you're more straight up and down your in other words your thigh is pretty close to the size of your lower leg your calf then a brace like this might not slide down as much and you could get away with using something like this and getting the support you need without having to adjust it so much but if your leg is more tapered it's thinner at the bottom then you're probably going to want something with some straps on it as you can see that will cost another five dollars over this brace right here so just some tips and advice for that the third question that I get, I'm actually gonna do a whole separate video for it. Um, uh, the question that I get all the time is, do the copper braces work? Now, this isn't a knee, but here it is. There's the copper knee brace. And um, just a quick teaser, it's not what you think, but um, stay tuned, subscribe, so that you can find out if that copper knee brace works. Well, that was a good little trip to the store. Thanks for coming back with me here. So in case you're shopping online, the same information that I went over while at the sporting goods store is gonna apply to shopping online. Of course, the downside is you won't be able to try the knee brace on because you could take those braces with you and you, you could actually return them to the sporting goods store. I believe that online stores are offering the same option where you, you, can, you can purchase a knee brace and if it doesn't fit you, you can return it usually free and get the size that, that fits you, either a size up or a size down. And just a word of advice, Typically, you want to get a size up from what the knee brace says because they're they're compressive. All the knee braces are compressive to some degree, so they're going to fit kind of tight, and you generally want to get a, a size bigger. If you look at some of the sizing charts for the knee braces that are available, available online and you measure yourself, and say you're a large, you might get the XL or the XXL if you're an XL already, 
so that you can have the best option. Another choice is just to buy both braces, take home the, the large and the extra large or the XL and the XXL or even three um, or order them online and then return the one, return the two that didn't fit you or the one that didn't fit you so that you can keep the one that is right for you. Now, for those of you that are shopping online, I've linked my favorite knee braces down in the description below. Um, those are affiliate links. So we do get a tiny little cut from it if you purchase through those links. I'd appreciate it if, if you're shopping online, if you use those links. Um, but those knee braces that I've linked in there are the same knee braces that we use here in the clinic and that we recommend our patients use if we're going to recommend a knee brace for them. And I've linked a cheaper option and a more expensive option for the type 1 knee braces, the ones that you'll use if you know that you don't have a tear, you're just looking for arthritis relief and pain relief. And then I've linked a cheaper and a more expensive option if you know that you have a tear, if you've got a meniscus tear or a ligament tear of some sort, um, just in case you feel like you need one that isn't going to, you're not going to need as long. Um, and an example of that is like if you've got a ligament tear, this is something I didn't mention when we were at the store. Ligaments generally heal in three to six months as long as you're doing everything right and using a brace like I'm recommending with the brackets on the sides. So you can probably get away with using the cheaper brace. If you know that you have a meniscus tear or some other sort of cartilage tear in your knee and you want that to heal, that takes longer. That takes on the, on the time frame of six to 12 months. So you might pay an extra 10, 20, up to $50 to get a nicer brace that's gonna last you longer, the stitches are gonna be better so they're not coming apart and they'll survive more washes because you're gonna to have to wash that brace for sure. So it's up to you. I've linked them all in the, in the description below. You can go shop online and figure out which knee brace is best for you. And then about that copper brace, um, watch out for a video coming out real soon. I'm gonna just talk about the copper brace by itself and the research behind it. And so subscribe to our channel if you wanna get that video. And uh, don't forget to just subscribe anyway. We put out health related videos every single week so that you can avoid surgery, avoid medications and avoid injections and be as healthy as possible. Be active, healthy and mobile and not have to worry about surgery and visiting the doctor all the time. This, this channel is dedicated to your health. Please give us a like and drop a comment. Let us know if this video was helpful for you. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.